Well, happy Thanksgiving, guys. It's a bit cold today, but I'm just going to do a short, quick video. So, this bike was wrecked. Uh, a friend of mine that owns it, he let another guy ride it, and the guy ended up hitting a curb. And I'm my mind is wired <clears throat> to where I try to find out why things happened. Yeah, there's, there's, you can speculate all you want. But let me preface this video by saying this is my own personal opinion and my own personal observation. So if we look here, these are some old tires on some wheels. And you have a profile of a front tire because a sport bike is it's a performance orientated machine. And they live a lot of their life on the side edges and most sport bike tires have a type of profile that allows you to fall over into a lean when you're riding so you can see how this kind of has a crown right here then it falls off to the side edge if we come over here you can see it's got about the same profile except this one's just wasted but it's got the same rounded profile to where you have a crown here and the sidewall here and you have a gradual radius right here. Now, obviously this does not belong to me, but I did get permission to do this video and to do what I'm about to do. But if we look at this tire, that profile of that tire is more flat. This is more of a touring type of tire where you're spending most of your time straight up and down. And like I said, this is more of a sports orientated profile of a tire. So that leads me to believe that with just the information I have, he let a friend ride it who ro rode motorcycles, obviously, who had a Gixxer 1000, GSXR 1000. So this guy goes, and like I said, speculation, this guy goes from his bike and takes this thing for a test ride, not being used to this profile of a tire. And I feel like that is probably what caused the wreck more than anything else. Just not being accustomed to how this tire is going to feel versus how those tires are going to feel. Now what I'm going to do here might piss people off. This tire is perfectly good. You can see there's a lot of tread. It's usable. I just made this tire unusable ever again now why did I do that yeah I just harped on the profile of the tire but it made another observation if we look on the sidewall and we go all the way around the sidewall there it says nylon there's the size and we come up there's a load range rating Some guy on a four-wheeler outside having fun. There's DOT mark. We we'll go all the way around. Obviously, this side's kind of hard to see because of the backlighting. But there is no brand, no manufacturer. I didn't even see a speed rating or anything on this tire. In my personal opinion, this tire is not usable I would never trust this thing there's no telling what it is what it's made of what the compounds are so I wanted to make sure now the guy who owns this he wants to be able to resell any usable parts to help recoup some costs 
but I would never trust myself to give that to somebody to put on their bike and maybe possibly put their life in jeopardy. So that's why I destroyed this tire to make sure nobody else runs across this issue with that tire. I put puzzles together in my brain. It's just the way I'm wired. I try to find out why something happened. And just from looking at that profile, I bet this bike felt so weird to this guy and he may have thrown it into a turn and it didn't respond. Anyway, my own personal observations.